L-D-W-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Culture Show, the Culture Show Live. Man, Betch Cohea versus Penny Kanzai. You know I'm a Betch Cohea fan. Y'all know I love me some Betch Cohea. But man, this was a war, okay? This was a brutal onslaught war. Where, I'm going to tell you, man, that was an ass whooping that, that got handed out in this fight. A straight ass whooping got handed out in this fight, but it was still a war. And I enjoyed this fight. Man, look, round one, man. Hanny Kanzai was looking sharp. She was looking very sharp. You know, I, I just felt like Betch Cohea is too stationary. You know, and I don't know if anybody else feel that way. Betch Cohea don't move enough. You know, she's very, very stationary. And so Betch Cohea is an easy target. Uh, Betch wants to fight in close quarters, okay? She want to stand in the pocket. And Betch Cohea want to fight in the pocket. And I'm just like, nah, you know, I just, I, I, I don't know. But I think that strategy, it just makes Betch Cohea so much more hittable. And Panny Kanza was whooping on Betch's ass. Listen, man, whatever Panny, uh, Panny Kanza wanted to do, she did it. Okay, because Betch Cohea don't move her head. She stand right there in the pocket. She eat your best shots. Okay, Panny Kanza hit Betch Cohea with a damn one-two. And she threw a straight right hand down the pipe. Man, look. She had Betch Cohea doing, she had Betch Cohea doing the damn, uh, like, she had Betch Cohea twerking in the damn ring. Guys, I kid y'all not, it looked like Betch Cohea did a twerk that Panic Hands out hit her so damn hard. I said, man, this strategy not going to work for Betch Cohea. It's not going to work. She going to get killed. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, to me, Panic Hands out, she missed an opportunity. Panic Hands out could have threw a head kick. Betch Cohea would have got caught with it because she don't move her head. But man, Panny Kanzai threw some beautiful, I'm talking about her jabs were just flawless. And she was tearing Betch Cohea up with the jab. It was almost like Betch Cohea, the whole round, she kept trying to get in on the inside of Panny Kanzai to get her shots off. But there were some points in the round where Betch Cohea did a great job of counterpunching. But when Betch countered Panny Kanzai the first time, Panny Kanzai made an instant adjustment. And so Panny would, would get her shots off and she would move back out of range, okay? And it was good. And also, Betch Cohea, to me, she don't mix it up enough, you know? Like, Betch don't throw any kicks. She's not a kicking threat. She's not. So, Panny Kanzai comfortably just went in there and beat the hell, I mean, boxed the hell out of Betch Cohea. That's what she did. Okay, Betch made it very easy in round one. And then, you know what? And then toward the end of round one, the damn, uh, the damn 10 minute, uh, the 10 minute time clock you know, it went off, and Betch Cohea thought that was the end of the round. And Panny Kenzai uh, hit Betch upside the head. Kick out! Kick out! I mean, man, she put a mouse on the Betch eye. Now, round two. Panny Kenzai, uh, she was feeling good after round one. Now, Panny Kenzai uh, stood in the pocket with Betch Cohea, and she slipped. Betch, in the pocket, man, she was doing some dirty boxing, and she was throwing, like, these hooks to the body, man. She caught Panny Kenzai uh, one of them hooks. But one of those hooks wasn't the reason that Panny Kanzai fell. She slipped and fell. Betch Cohea, she got on top of Panny Kanzai. And Betch Cohea was doing a damn good job. Panny Kanzai couldn't get up, y'all. She couldn't get up. And I'm like, yo, you being out wrestled by Betch Cohea? Oh, hell. Okay, well, we see the hole in Panny's game. We see the hole. It's right there. Betch Cohea, that tricky Betch Cohea, exposed the hole in Panny Kanzai's game. Panny Kanzai can't wrestle. She can't wrestle from the bottom anyway. Betch Cohea was giving some good strikes from the top. And then Betch Cohea, like, what? I'm thinking, is Betch brain dead? Is Betch Cohea brain dead? Betch Cohea gets up. She stands up and allows Panny Kanzai to stand back up. I said, are you serious? What are you doing? But that's what happened. I said, Betch got to be one of the dumbest damn fighters to walk the face of God's green earth. I said, damn, you let this girl get back up who was beating the hell out of you on the feet. What was Betch thinking, y'all? What was she thinking? So Penny Kanzai got back up, and you guessed it. She got back up, you guessed it. She began to commence to beating on Betch's ass again. I mean, Penny Kanzai put her foot all up in Betch Cohea's ass toward the end of round two. Now we get to round three. We get to round three, y'all. Now check this out. Panny Kanzai decides to stand in the pocket again. I said, what is Panny Kanzai doing? Why do you want to stand in the pocket 
with this bulldog ass woman. Why do you want to do that? She stood right there in the pocket and she was tagging Betsko here. It was working. Betsko here hit Panny Kanzar with a left, a left. Man, look, she had Panny Kanzar doing a damn electric slide. Y'all remember the electric slide? Electric slide. What about that magic? She had Panny Kanzar doing an electric slide. Betch caught Panny Kanzar with a left hook and she put, look, she put a sideways titty on the side of Panny Kanzar's face. I said, God, dog. And Panny Kanzar was stunned. And I thought that Betch Cohead was going to pick up on that and actually get in there and start really putting pressure on Panny Kanzar. No, Betch Cohead was a bit passive. So then toward the end of the round, you know, a panic hands odd, she threw like a damn right cross, an overhand right and hit Betch in the head. Man, look, she staggered Betch again, and I thought panic hands odd was going to close the show. But no, she didn't. It's like they were both just kind of tentative on closing the show. And then Betch Cohea got a takedown. And see, now anybody watching this fight and you got to fight panic hands odd, look, man, this girl is susceptible to a takedown. Panic hands odd is so heavy in Muay Thai. And Betts got that takedown because Panny was in a more tight stance and she was waiting on Betts Cohell to actually come in there and put pressure because Panny, what she was going to do is she was going to put Betts in a more tight clinch. And I'm going to tell y'all, man, Panny Kanzar, her more tight clinch is on point. She put Betts Cohell in that damn more tight clinch. Betts Cohell was swinging at the air. It was funny as hell. She had Betts and she was moving Betts' head around. Betts was swinging and Panny Kanzar let her go. And I'm like, why did Panny Kanzar let her go? Like, she had head control. Betch Cohell wasn't going nowhere. Man, you know, both of these two made some flaws, but I thought Panny Kanzar did a better technical job in the fight. Betch Cohell fought a dumb fight. And Betch actually could have won this fight. The fight was there. She could have won. But it's like, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe Betch Cohell octagon IQ, you know, not that great. Because, hell, this is a person that did get knocked out by Ronda Rousey, who don't even got a striking game. So you guys tell me what you think, man. Panny Ken's uh, unanimous, unanimous decision ass whooping. Okay, Panny whooped that ass. I'm done.